Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Mona Issa Bakhsh. I'm currently a research instructor at, at Georgetown University Medical Center. I got my PhD in industrial engineering from the University of Miami in July 2021. Uh, and right after finishing my PhD, I joined Georgetown University uh, where I work as a modeler with the rest of the team on tobacco regulatory science projects. Uh, I'm also a trainee at the Center for the Assessment of Tobacco Regulations, uh, the Castor team. Uh, I should mention that I am pretty new to tobacco research and I'm still learning about tobacco regulatory science. Uh, for over a decade, I have been building my career as a computational scientist by gaining experience in developing and using operations research, data analytics, and machine learning tools for studying specifically medical decision making and healthcare planning problems. During my undergraduate and graduate studies, I gained experience in mathematical modeling and data mining and used those techniques for modeling public health problems. Um, next, I'm going to give you a short summary about uh, the, the, the projects that I have been working on since I joined Georgetown University. So I recently received an award to do a pilot study from the t Castro group that attempts to determine the most critical factors that lead an individual to quit smoking cigarettes using machine learning techniques. As you may know, um, identifying the determinants of a smoking cessation is critical for developing optimal cessation treatments and interventions. Most uh, cigarette users, most uh, smokers are willing to quit uh, smoking uh, cigarettes and more than half of them uh, uh, make a quit attempt every year. However, less than 10% among this population remain abstinent for at least six months. Um, so applying nationally representative longitudinal data from the Population Assessment of Tobacco and Health uh, Survey, I developed novel predictive models uh, to better characterize factors that support individuals in their smoking cessation journey and to inform future policy, future tobacco policies. Um, in another project, I developed a computer, a computer simulation model to assess the effect of a mental cigarette ban on the non-Hispanic Black population. As you may know, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration uh, recently proposed a ban on the sales of mental cigarettes. Therefore, it is critical to estimate the, uh, the potential public health effect of such a ban. Um, considering the high rates of mental cigarette use and important uh, smoking-related health disparity uh, implications, uh, the ban's impact on the non-Hispanic Black population specifically merits a strong consideration. So in this project, we, uh, we found that a mental cigarette ban would substantially reduce a smoking-associated health uh, impacts on the non-Hispanic Black population. Therefore, it results in uh, reducing the overall health disparities. Lastly, I should mention that um, I do not have any background in epidemiology or public health. Uh, therefore, pivoting my research to tobacco regulatory science has definitely been challenging for me. But at the same time, uh, it has also been very exciting and uh, rewarding for me. So I recommend uh, tobacco regulatory science uh, to people with a similar background as myself, specifically modelers. Uh, because they can look at tobacco modeling from a different angle uh, than, the, uh, than the traditional methods um, in this uh, research area. Uh, and hopefully they can provide novel and different solutions to the problems in the, in, in the tobacco regulatory science uh, domain. So um, thank you so much. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or if you are interested in collaborating with me. Thank you.